<laughs> All right, my friends, it's Krebs, and we are gonna level up our stock as balls planes. My tier four planes are really, really shit, and that's pretty much for every single nation. And is that the same for you guys? Are your tier four planes crap? Are you even at tier four? Well, take a look at some of this stuff. I don't even have all the tier 4 planes for the Russians. As you can see, a lot of them are stock as balls. They really are stock as balls. Some of them I've leveled up quite substantially. I mean, like this one. I've gotten up the major components like Hello Compressor, Hello Engine, Hello Engine Injection. The stuff that's really important to getting you moving fast. But I can overall say that my tier 4 planes are really, really lacking. Really lacking. So what we're going to do today is we're going to jump on in into some arcade battles. Why is it on realistic battles? Ah, oh, see. Haha. <laughs> if you're wondering, Krebs, you don't play realistic battles. Oh, I do. I do. You just seen some proof. It was on realistic battles, goddammit. So we're going to uh, play around in some arcade battles because I think that would be interesting. To do for you guys as we level up our stock as balls planes. All right, we're on Cliff Coast. I'm in my LA7 B20, and we're gonna kick some balls in our stock as balls planes. Oh yeah! Uh, there's something really ridiculous about this plane, and you guys are gonna see it when we're encountering the enemy. But its flight model is so goddamn broken. Now, please bear with me because I've got to get used to my controls. Oh shit. My controls? Okay, they are working, that's fine. I, I was gonna say, we, I need to get used to my controls. I've got a new mouse here. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't played arcade in, in a little bit of time. So actually, let me get really comfortable here. I don't want anything hitting the microphone. And now I'm gonna... I'm gonna prepare myself mentally and physically. Prepare yourselves, enemy. Krebs is on the way! P47, you're going down first. Let's take a look quickly if anything else is coming. Nothing. See, we're gonna need to slow down any second now. Actually, are we gonna need to slow down? Let's see if we can fire at this dude. Kill him. Come on. Oh, uh, we got a critical. We got a critical. He's going down! Yes, the kill is ours! That was only an oil tank critical. I don't understand how this works sometimes. It looked like everything... It looked like he lost tail control there. We've got a Yak-9, we've got a Spitfire as well. And what the heck is flying in front of my screen right now? I don't actually... Okay, it's gone. What is that, some random buggy glitch-ass stuff? Okay, here we go. Yak-9T. Get Time to get trolled, son! Okay, I'm putting my landing flaps on. Look how th fast this thing de-accelerates. It's so massively fast. Ta-da! You see him? And now you don't. They call me the magician. Holy shit. We got a critical on the left aileron. Damn. You. I think they did something to the LAs with this really strange model, flight model. At least what I feel anyway. Uh, we need a better example so I can show you guys of what it's actually like when you're trying to slow down on somebody. Because this thing de-accelerates. Like, as if it was actually, it actually had, like, air brakes or something. It's just ridiculous. Uh, let's go after this P-63 next. I'm kind of iffy about it because this asshole up here. Hello there, Sten Killer. I know you want me. I know you want me, baby. Oh, no, you bastard! Oh, oh. oh man. That was, I had no, there was no honor in that. I was just decimated there. Holy shit. So, that was my second magician act. That was me turning into a ball of confetti. Alright, so I'm in my LA7 now. And I actually have stealth ammo. I think that's a new thing I've gotten on this plane. Before, I had tracer rounds, and I just lit up the night sky. Or even the day sky. With uh, those things. So... Let's kick some asshole again. We got a Spitfire over there. We got an SU-2. Who the hell are we gonna go for? And we've also got an LA-7. The choices, the choices. So the thing is, if we go after that Spitfire, he's part of a clan, and I see another Spitfire dude over there as well. 
So I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't put them against them if they're going to work together. So actually, I'm kind of a bit worried now. Because we've got a Spitfire there. We've got an LA-7 there. That Spitfire can easily turn on me. And I'm kind of in the gutter if that happens. And I think that might be happening right now. We're going to do... Ooh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Is that other Spitfire coming this way, though? That's what I'm wondering about. Thing is, I can't... I, I'm not going to engage that thing in a, in a turn fight. You, you guys don't understand me when I say that this thing has a weird flight model. Take a look at that. I'm just running like a pussy. I'm running! Ha! You don't want to chase after me. Son of a gun. Oh god, there's a bow fighter. We got a bow fighter on our six. LA-7, coming on up. Ah, oh, little bitch! He was, he can maneuver so well. I'm just worried about the bow fighter. I'm worried about the bow fighter. Ooh. Ooh. Oh god, <laughs> he's got like a perfect shot on me, man. Ah! Oh god. <laughs> Here we go. And now we've got the counter attack. And I'm hoping that the LA-7 biatch doesn't get me. Yes. Good stuff. We got a shot. And now we got another bastard. Oh, no. Holy crap. Holy shit. We took a shot. We, <laughs> we took a shot there. And we survived. The P-63, now what is he going to do? He's going to run away like a son of a gun. You bastard. Fight me. Fight me. He's not going to fight me. He's not going to fight me. He's not going to fight me. Whatever. So now we have to do the long, arduous journey back over to the middle of Ireland. Because that guy stells over there as being a pussy. And those guys are taking the bait. They're wasting their time. <laughs> that guy could literally just jump out of his plane if he wanted to. I think he's... He thinks that this is historical battles right now. Realistic battles. He thinks that I'm going to boom and zoom. To get away from the enemy. My friends, this is arcade battle. You can do some really wonky shit. Yak 3. We've also got that Spitfire. Who is it going to be first? Place your bets. Actually, I'm thinking about the Spitfire first because he's probably going to be the most crazy one to take on. Crazy son of a gun. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yak 3P. Kua! <laughs> How's that? How do you like the Russian power? How do you like to be taught a lesson from communism? Right, we got that Spitfire above us. He's just eerily hanging up there. He's just waiting for his chance. He's just waiting for his chance. The majestic Spitfire hanging above the clouds, waiting for his opportunity to drop down on the enemy. Oh! Well, even before that, we've got a Yak-9K on the way. Hello, let's try heading on. I can't be bothered using this plane anymore. Holy shit. We just went right under. I think that was the, all the Vaseline and all the lube I put on this plane. We just slipped right on underneath that Yak-9K. Holy shit. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. I knew it. I want the kill, please. He's coming on the side. This should be my chance. Yeah! We got it. We got it, guys. High five. This is my stock-ass balls planes. They are stock-ass balls. I should do surprisingly well. Usually these things are so damn hard to use. All right, Spitfire. You've the majestic Spitfire has now come down from the sky, hunting his prey. His prey, now hunting the predator. All right, okay. Well, you seen that the A6M5 was like, "Hey, I'm just gonna outturn you, bitch. You can come down on me, and I'm gonna try to flip it topside on you." But look at him. He thinks that this is realistic battles as well. That's why he was hanging all the way up there. He's gonna dive on down. He misses his pass. He's gonna climb back into the sky. And how many kills does he end up with in the end? What is his name? He gets three kills. I mean, it's just a waste of time. Who gives a crap? B-17 on fire. And we got sorry Spitfire. 
All right, so there we go. We got seven kills in the end. It looks like a bomber made it to the top of their list with uh, 1,192 points. Let's take a look. Dun, 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 dun. I got 1,875 with seven kills. He got zero, but I'm guessing he destroyed air bases. Uh, I guess. Wow, he's actually a pretty damn good. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking at this, I'm like, wow, he's a pretty damn good player. And then that's actually my stat card. This is glitch much. There we go, that's the guy. Yeah, that's not bad. Well done. Okay, so that's our stock is balls planes. So we're gonna jump in for round number two. Alright, welcome to Two Towns. The map with the cheesiest story behind it. If you're wondering why it's so cheesy, why the hell am I spinning out? You gotta read the description of this map. It's something so goddamn cheesy. It looks like something out of a Michael Bay film. It's the... It goes something along the lines of These two towns have been rivaling for so long now that they don't even know why they started fighting in the first place. Next time you're on this map, please read the description. It is so damn cheesy. I, I don't know if they actually hired Michael Bay to write the description of this map, but... Whatever, anyway. So, we're in our LA-7B-20 again. This is the first plane that we're trying to get up from stock as balls. And we're going for Mr. Smile Man Turk. You gotta smile, because you're gonna die. Any second now. Any second now. Come on, Krebs. Leave those shots a bit better. Oh yeah! We got it! And now we're gonna fly away, because we're being a pussy. <laughs> and now we're gonna go back into battle because we're not a pussy. And I see that there's a BF109. Holy shit! Oh my god! No, 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 no. I don't think so, dude. I am not gonna lead myself for you to kill. And that dude was just set up for the shot there. Okay. Right. So we got a bunch of guys now right in front of our 12 o'clock. I had to calculate that. I wasn't sure exactly where the 12 o'clock was on the, on the, uh, <laughs> on the clock. Holy shit! I don't want to do any crashes, please. No head-ons. And now, hello. This thing has got such a wonky flight model. Do you see how it sort of, like, flips around when you're turning? That's exactly what I mean. The only thing that's great about this plane, I guess it, it instantly stops. But it, its armaments aren't too bad for two cannons. I mean, that's pretty damn powerful. Well, anyway, thank you, Mr. Benji Chu, uh, for knocking out my pilot. That was a very, very great thing. I, I mean, my guy just instantly died. I, 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 I didn't have any hope in hell of evading that. So anyway, let's carry on the show. Mr. Smile Man, even though we killed him, he's got two kills now. Wow. Well done. Look at those guys. Freaks. Freaks! They think they're so elite with their FR-34K and then redeem- oh my gosh, anyway. Let's go after this dude over here in the back and then we'll lead on to get the other dude. Uh, 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 uh. he's in his yak. Three peak, come on Krebsy, leave these shots. There we go, we got him! I got your friends, now can I finish off the brothers? Oh, look at this high speed chase. Yeah, we got it! We finished off the Freak Brothers! We have cleansed the world of freaks! <laughs> the internet is now a safer place, thanks to Krebsy. The freaks. Who needs freaks in this world? <laughs> Alright. Come on. Come on, what else can we go for? Uh, we've got a number of guys here. They're all flying high tier planes. Hopefully this match isn't gonna end too quickly. Uh, Alright guys, you guys gotta overtake me here. Because I don't want to be the first into battle. Wow, look at this. We are the two rival towns ready for each other. Come at me. Come at me. Come on then. Come on then. Oh shit, there's an LA-5 above, above us. Oh god. Oh god, he's coming down. He's coming down. I'm gonna dive. Evasive maneuvers. Quick, Krebs. Where is he? Holy shit! He's right there. Oh my god. 
Slow down. Flip. And he's dead. Nice, teammate. Well done. Quickly behind us. Whew. Nobody. All right, F for you. You got a bunch of guys on. Okay, that's whatever. P47. I love killing these motherfuckers. It's just like killing. I don't know. It's like killing a puppy. These things are so goddamn slow. And it's so fun to kill. Because it's so easy to kill as well. No, 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 I want it, I want the kill, I want the kill, I want the kill, please. Oh, uh, everyone is on him in this game, everyone is on him. No, no, no! <laughs> oh, I thought we would have got it, we got the elevators there, damn it. We were so close, I wanted to kill the sausage plane. Or the giant cigar. The flying log. <laughs> Okay, well maybe next time. Oh, what? There are more freaks in this world. Damn it. It seems like our genocide on freaks has not been totally successful, so we might have to cleanse this world yet again of the freaks. Okay, so Mr. Maxim over here. Oh shit, we've actually got a Yak 3 coming head on. And are we gonna- Oh, the world is already cleansed of one freak. Hello. BF109, I know you want me, <laughs> and I want you too. It's Valentine's Day, baby, so let's have each other. Uh, yeah, that's a pilot snipe. And that was a freak as well! We got the freaks, yes! No, 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 don't, don't, stop, stop it. Oh, he almost killed me, dude. That P63 wanted me so damn bad. I know it's Valentine's Day, I know, but come on. Wow. There's fireworks tonight, babies. And I don't I don't think there's any more dudes around here, so let's reload. We're gonna fly away now, because I'm sick of this place. <laughs> Off of you! Off of you, I'm out of here. I did enough damage. That was enough carnage. Oh, and we took a lot of damage there as well. Our plane? It looks pretty pr damn pristine. Look at this. It's shining, it glimmers in the sunlight. However, we've taken still a lot of damage. Oh, BF109, thinking that this is realistic battles again. Diving down. He's like, ha, huh, I've got a BF109. And because BF109's dived in real life, then I'm gonna do it in arcade. <laughs> Alright, okay. B25. Can we get the pilot snipe? It seemed we, like we got a lot of pilot snipes on planes today. Let's see if we can get the pilot snipe. Uh, I don't think at this point it's gonna be a pilot snipe. But if we could set him on fire, that would be an assured kill near enough. Oh, he's running away. Come on, come back! I want to make love to you! <laughs> okay, he's gone. Who got him? A Yak-9P, really? Not bad. Not bad. It's hard to kill those things with 20mm cannons. Okay, so... Anyone else want some, or what? what is going on? I've got plenty of pieces to give around, and what the hell, our game is almost over. We need one more kill to make it to our average goal. Okay. Okay, there. No! We didn't make it! Ah, damn it! <laughs> we wanted eight kills, it seems like we can only get seven kills. What? Apparently, I got that last kill, but it's, it's not going to count because I got it after the timer ended. Yay, we can get the fuel ejection. Oh my gosh, this plane is so balls right now. Uh, what else do we need? We definitely don't need bombs, especially 50 and 100 kilos. That's going to do nothing but bounce off targets. We're going to get the airframe, why not? Alright guys, so that is it for today. My name is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys later.